My name is Nicole Boyington. I attended Wanganui Secondary College from Year 7 to Year 12 in 2007 to 2012, and I'm now a registered nurse at St Vincent's Hospital in Melbourne. Tell me a little bit. Oh about God. <laughs> year seven, Nicole. Year seven, Nicole. I was very excited to come to Wanganui. My older brother was at Wanganui, so I was very excited to be here. Um, I was very skinny and I was in a moon boot because I'd broken my foot in basketball. So I was in that for 12 months. So for a long time, people were calling me the astronaut and <laughs> the girl in the boot. I don't think anyone knew me as Nicole for a long while, but yes, little Nicole in year seven. I did like um, the media and arts sort of things to start off with. I did like photography and cooking and anything that got me hands on doing things. Um, I also did like doing PE and stuff as well. Again, the hands on sort of things. I was never the real academic type throughout school, so the class work wasn't always, I wasn't always the best at that. So I did like all the things that got me hands on. I think early on in my high school career, I realised that I wanted to be a nurse. I feel as though I always had the caring nature, as cheesy as that sounds. I always liked caring for other people and I had a family member that was in hospital for a long period of time. And then being in the hospital environment and seeing all the nurses work with him, and um, I realised that that was very interesting and that looked like a very cool job to do. So in year 10, I was looking into the classes that I needed to do for nursing and the only requirement they had was maths and English. Um, and then I also threw in health and human development and psychology, um, just because they were health related as well. And then um, that year that I was in, finishing year 10, they'd opened up a vet in schools through TAFE at Golden Valley Hospital. So I decided to apply for that as well, which was the first year that they'd run that. That was really good because it really, we did a lot of classes that involved health related things. We learned about basic life support and just things inside the hospital and body systems and things of patients. But then we also got to do a lot of um, rotations and placements within the Golden Valley Health where we, not that we got to do a lot of nursing hands on things, but the seeing inside the hospital and getting to work inside the wards and stuff was a really good experience. I realised that because I'm not always the academic student, I thought I'd apply for university and TAFE just in case I didn't get into a university nursing degree. In year, year 12, um, after sitting exams, I also sat another exam through TAFE um, for the Division 2 nursing in case I didn't get accepted into university. And then I also applied into um, Bendigo La Trobe, Shepparton La Trobe and Aubrey Radonga La Trobe for my nursing um, career as well. So you set your exams? Um, yes. And then results came and out? And then results came out and I cried because oh. <laughs> I didn't get what I wanted. Um, I probably had an inkling that I wouldn't, but I was still hoping that I did. Um, I got an early entry to Bendigo La Trobe um, if I got over a certain ATAR score to get into Bendigo. And I didn't, so I didn't get straight into Bendigo like I thought I would. And then, um, I contacted you because <laughs> I didn't know what to do and I wanted to still be a nurse and I did have the backup plan of going to TAFE to be a nurse but deep down I did want to go through university to do my nursing um, so I contacted you and we worked out a pathway of still getting into university. Um, so how was that different from what your original plan was? Was there much um, it was just more that I just had to reassess about um, where I wanted to go for university and um, just recalculate my plan and not be so disappointed that I didn't get in originally or didn't get the ATAR score that I wanted, but um, being grateful that I can still work out a path of getting into nursing and just working around it. So I did want to move away for my first um, for university, as most people do. I wanted to spread my wings and go as far away as possible, so I went to Albury Wodonga. Um, I did my first 12 months there, and I did love the university, but living on res was much dirtier than I expected, and I decided that it was time to move home, um, and I saved a lot of money being home, and it was a great experience moving back to Shepparton and Latrobe, but originally went to Albury Wodonga for my first year. I feel that um, school, like year 12, was 
difficult in that you're there five days a week. Um, the pressure of assignments and reminders of you need to do this and need to do this and then the exams and things, I think the pressure of that was quite a big build up. But then university was different in that the, the work was quite hard, um, the assignments and things were quite difficult, but you weren't there all day every day. It was a lot on making sure you do the things you need to do to pass in your own time and making myself learn and do things and ask for help and things instead of always being offered help is the difference, I guess. So in our third year of nursing, we had to apply to four hospitals within Victoria um, that you wanted to work at. I really wanted to go to a big city hospital and build my skills as a nurse in a big hospital and see different things that aren't necessarily um, dealt with in the country and also a lot of the really unwell people in Shepparton were getting flown to Melbourne so I wanted to be where everyone was going not where everyone was leaving. So in my four um, I chose St Vincent's Hospital, the Alfred and the Austin Hospital but then I also chose Shepparton GB Health as a backup in case I wasn't accepted to the Melbourne hospitals. I thought being a country girl applying to a big city hospital where there's lots of universities in Melbourne that are having a lot of girls that want those positions, I thought, I don't like my chances competing against all these people. So I had Shep as my backup as well. Um, all the hands-on things that I had to do, I passed really well, but then the essays and assignments that I'd done were a pass throughout the whole three years, but they were never A plus or what. So I thought competing against other girls from other universities, one in the city and then two, not having the best um, academic script saying my results, I thought, I don't like my chances, but um, I was very fortunate to be chosen for St Vincent's Hospital. And then I found out on my first day at St Vincent's that they had, just St Vincent's Hospital had 5,000 nurses apply. They interviewed 1,000 and then they chose 127. So I was very lucky, wow. very lucky to be chosen for the 127. After your first 12 months, you've learnt so much in that time about um, nursing and building your skills as a nurse but then you're still not you still haven't seen it all yet and you still have so much to learn so at St Vincent's they offer once you've finished your grad year um, for the 12 months you can then either work casual um, picking up shifts here and there a lot of girls did that because they wanted to go traveling so they just picked up shifts when they wanted to or you could apply for one ward and you just work permanently on that floor or they also offer like a second grad year um, through the hospital if you want to keep rotating for another 12 months but and but see multiple wards again um, which I again was lucky enough to be chosen for that so this is my um, yeah second 12 months at um, St Vincent's Hospital which has been great down the path, I'm looking at returning home to Shepparton um, to work possibly at Golden Valley Health and I think critical care or emergency nursing would be the path that I'd go down. Um, but I did also love learning about the kidneys and doing dialysis for kidney patients. So possibly working in both. Um, a lot of nurses do two wards for their career and they mix it up a little bit. So I think maybe down the path I'll be maybe an emergency nurse and work in dialysis or whatnot because the emergency is quite fast paced and maybe having a ward that's not so fast paced and alternate between the two in your fortnight then that might be a good mix. My biggest thing was um, don't doubt yourself. I think um, going up against all the Melbourne hospitals I was so relieved when I got the job that, and so shocked that I got the job that I think 16 year old Nicole never would have thought that I'd be working at St Vincent's Hospital in Melbourne. It was a massive achievement to me um, personally. Some of the girls that I work with, they're like, oh, it's just another Melbourne hospital. They don't think it's such a big deal. But I think coming from the country, I've really needed to be more confident in myself that it is possible to get a job where you want to apply. Um, it is possible to work at big hospitals. It's not just the Melbourne people that work in Melbourne hospitals. There's a lot of country people that work in Melbourne hospitals. So 16 year old Nicole, it's, you will get there in the end. It's just working hard and not doubting yourself so much, I guess. Yes. Cole Boynton, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back to Wanganui. No worries. And sharing with us your journey. My pleasure. Thank you for talking to me. <laughs> All right. That's it. <sighs> thank you very much. Good Sweating job. can stop. Good job. Wasn't that painful? No, it was okay. <laughs> I've got a dry mouth now. So <laughs>